And uh, speaking of being high in the sky, we're going to Metropolis for game number two. We're going to be on the top of skyscrapers. All kinds of action coming at you between Tejan and Sheth. Game number two. But honestly, man, Sheth uh, did a great mind game for game number one. And I feel like it, if you, it's one of those things where it's like, man, I got everything that went my way other than, you know, Tasia like, mouse didn't disconnect from his computer. How can I really beat this guy? I want to see what Sheth's bringing up here in, in uh, the second game of the series. Yeah, I mean, he has to, as you said, Tasia is just sky high right now, man. He is doing so well. And uh, I just don't understand how he defended that. Like, oh, well, I mean, Sheth it's not that he defended it. He defended it so easily. And he did it, like, in such a weird way where you go, like, uh, you do get reactor hellions and banshees, but you get like stim <laughs> instead. Yeah. Um, what what really sticks out in my mind when I actually see that is the fact that he didn't know it was coming until it was already too late. Like that's normally a situation where, yeah. oh, okay, well, um, thanks for playing. Yeah, he didn't wall off. You. He didn't even he didn't even yeah. lift the, the the supply depots on his ramp. Like. Yeah. Because that's how taken aback, but it was like the fact that he prioritized defending that bunker um, and was able to use the Banshees to pick off the right targets. It was, uh, it, was, it was really cool. And honestly, when you think about it, maybe not even that surprising. Uh, and so, ooh, what is this? A two racks from Tasia. 11, Something 11. We don't see that often from him, but I guess uh, Tasia mixing it up for game number two, saying, you're going to go aggro on me in game number one. I will flip it on right back at you. You know, Major said, uh, Root Major, he said to me, um, Hey, Great Trip, if I go two racks on you, I'll just win straight oh, up. Hey, move. Oh, my he see goodness. It. Wow, that Overlord did not scout the barracks. He did scout, uh, uh, n like, nothing at the top of the ramp, which is in itself suspicious. But, like, seeing the locations of the barracks is almost just as valuable as uh, mm -hmm. maybe not scouting at all. So, But, um... Back to what I was saying, Major was saying, like, oh, yeah, I'll just do two racks and, and kill you. I'm like, dude, I can stop two racks. He goes, no, 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 no. It's not the two racks that's going to kill you. It's the mind games. And Major was saying, like, the mind games are what really kill people. Man. Am I all inning after this? When am I getting my command center after this? If I'm getting command center, where am I placing? I mean, the amount of things that you can do from this are really endless, and here we see oh, Tasia wow. is He's sending committing a pretty lot hard of to SCVs. this. That's exactly right. And then, uh, you know how Tasia does what he says right after this game if he wins? He says, calculated. calculated. He's that guy, man. That guy. My friend always would say mind games, too, whenever I played chess with him, and he'd always, like, beat me and be like, mind games. Tasia sending a lot of SCVs, so he doesn't know how serious it is, but now he realizes it. No spine car has been started. He lost valuable time. Tasia is now... Oh, no. A 10 Zergling, 12 Zerglings on the way, so this will help quite substantially. Hmm. Uh, the question is, how good is Tasia's micro? Oh, Andre. Let me tell you something, <laughs> man. This this guy, Tasia, is... Oh. Uh, he's going to be able to surround his Marines with his SCVs. He's able oh to get his God. Marines in a great position. SCVs fighting in perfect formation. You're wondering, Andre, how good this kid's micro is. It is pretty darn good, man. Oh, my God. And the bunker finishes Froden. Wow. Oh, no. This is not good. And he's going to take off more uh, He's got to drop the Marines from being able to go, but at the same time, he's buying more time to get more Marines. The surround is not completed. Tasia manages to escape for a little bit. And uh, sure, uh, the, the bunker has been, uh, I guess uh, the aggression has been thwarted, but Sheth has lost a lot. Can you take a th look at the worker count, Andre? Yeah, it's 6 to 11. Oh. 10 workers killed to 6 workers killed in favor of Tasia, of course. And this does not bode well for Chef. Remember, that mule adds a theoretical 4.5. 4.5 mining workers per minute. So you can just attack on an extra 4.5 there. And that's how far ahead Tasia is. Yeah, Tasia is, uh, well, okay. Uh, per Perspective-wise, what makes Tasia so ahead is that, you know, he's he's safe back at home. There's almost nothing he can really do. And Sheth, uh, Sheth does have a spine call, so he is safe also. But it just seems like uh, Tasia was able to take out enough drones, force enough larva as well. Um, and the mule really kicks in at this point for Tasia, so... We'll see how, uh, oh, well, Tasia's going to also follow with the third command center. Pretty standard from him. Yes, pretty sir. standard of all Terrans. Yes, and, I, and it's just, like, there's nothing Sheth can do about it. That's what blows my mind. Like, this yeah. is how Tasia's going to get so far ahead. And honestly, this is how he's going to win. Like, Tasia still ha 
incorporates mind games into this. This is exactly what Major was talking to me about. It's like there's a lot of things that you can do directly after this, uh, whether it be uh, continued aggression or just one command center. It could be two command centers. It could be Hellion run buys. Be banshees. It's endless, Frodan. There's a lot of options. And it looks like <laughs> Sheth isn't. In Sheth isn't even going to keep his Zerklings alive. He loses those two. Uh, everything's going wrong for Sheth this game, man. Yeah, Sheth, uh... Well, okay, Sheth's not... I mean, it's just doing the right thing, though. Like, trying to see if he can, uh... You know, like, scout around, pressure a little bit. But he lost a lot of Zerklings in that exchange as well. His queen count is, has been not existent this entire time because he's been trying to get his drones mm -hmm. uh, back in production. Well, so. frankly, he can't even spend the larva that he had. That's why. I mean... Mm -hmm. It's it's really unbearable for Sheth. I mean, he's straggling just to get you know, the remnants of an economy that he used to know. Yeah, uh, this is... Uh, oh, so Teja does, uh, does, again, control the map considerably, but Sheth's also making 10 more Zerglings. Wow. Uh, he doesn't know about this third command center whatsoever. In fact, all he's got was the third barracks. More mind games from Teja. That's right. And Sheth really didn't want to commit this uh, this Overlord too early on. He actually wow. like looked like he was about to do it, but then he backed up. I don't know why. I think he's just scared of losing this Overlord, saying, I'm already so far behind, yeah. I can't really afford another Overlord. Yeah, exactly. From his position, it's like, if I lose another Overlord, that's just going to stall me even further. Yeah. And now Sheth's forced to make a second spine caller. A lot of uh, Zerglings as well. Teja poking in here, able to get in a good position. Oh no! Sheth has also compromised his ramp, and Teja is now oh, granted gosh. access to the Zerg base, and he controls the top of the ramp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed, Frodan. A couple of drones are going to be taken out. One shot every single time and look at this a ton of drones are being killed here he's now going to focus fire down and see if he can pick up any more but 17 to 7 at this point income tab showing 24 harvesters to 32 and remember that is three sev production he has three command centers Triple that makes this, uh, yeah and three mules excuse me so add what is that You're 13 excused, and a half 13.5 plus 35 you have 48.5 to your opponent's 31 harvesters. You are way ahead. He's talking to Tasia, of course. Uh, Tasia is... Yeah, Tasia's uh, way ahead, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> You're like talking to me, man. I'm like, oh. Oh. I'm Frodan, not really... I'm you not, are I know, way I know ahead. I'm a good Terran player, Andre. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to compare me. Tasia, Tasia is uh, is on another world, man. Just, this guy Please is, don't compare me to Tasia. <laughs> please don't, man. That's <laughs> expectations I'll never be able to fulfill. Uh, you see that uh, Tasia is also like he's doing like the safe route as well. He's getting, he's prioritizing lots of barracks early on so he can make units in case Sheth is going to go for like reversal. And still pressuring the front with just a small pack of Marines, and he he's making so little units be so effective. And this is just annoying. Like just Sheth, that the fact that Sheth can't wall off comfortably. Yeah, um, there's no no two ways about it. I mean, yeah. Sheth is pretty much. Um, I hate to say this, but it feels like he's in an unwinnable situation, being this far behind Tasia of all people. And really all Tasia needs is time. He needs time to really materialize all of the economic advantages he's had. He's taking his third base, and once his production kicks in, um, literally, I, I don't think Tasia will even have to micro. I mean, that's just how big of an advantage he has, not only with upgrades, as you can see, 1-1 one, one is already almost finished, just three quarters of the way done. Uh, but he still, he also has the army to boot. You can see Marines and Marauders very comparable to the Zergling count. Yep. Uh, and also, since it is a close air position, the, the walk distance is a little bit reduced, and that does help Tasia. Um, but there's also there's less avenues that Tasia has to concern himself with in terms of, you know, the, the counterattack. So I think uh, Tasia should be good to go, and he is going to go for just massive, massive, massive amounts of bio. Not really prioritizing his uh, his factory tech, at least for a while, until he gets the slew of upgrades. Now, uh, the the three base orbital is just like it's just so much. But this is kind of like what we're talking about. Tasia's already prepared his infrastructure before he's expanding. He's now making incredible amounts of units, and he's still adding on more. So he'll have so much, and we already seen what he can do with a little amount of marines. Imagine yep. what he can do with like four times that amount of units. More Marines, bro. Yeah, more Marines. What can you do with more Marines? Kill I don't know, things man. faster. 
I don't know. Yes, that's, ex that's exactly <laughs> right, Andre. <laughs> oh. That's exactly what Marines are for, as far as I'm concerned, killing stuff. Oh. Just ask every... Uh, Yes, that's every other person that's well, played against Well, they have, like, Asia. the second highest DPS in the game, right? Yeah. What? Behind the carrier? A marine? Yeah. It has the most DPS, bro, in the game. No, carrier has the most DPS. No. I think? Are you, no, it's, it's DPS per cost, I think, if you're talking oh, about that. Like, marine is by gotcha. far and away. Yeah, like I would agree. super, <laughs> super effective. Well, stim marine, to be fair. Um, two twos, uh, one one's already done. Now, Chef did uh, finish plus one carrot base, now starting uh, finishing up his plus one. He is making banelings, and he's doing the right thing, but Tasia just has a lot of marines and map control. Uh, Chef's uh, creep spread hasn't been that effective thus far because he's been limited by uh, just his queen times. He doesn't have production. And now Chef uh, has to deal with uh, the force that is Tasia. The train is coming. Chef is tied to the railroad. Will he be able to stop him whatsoever? And the answer is yes for now because he's counterattacking. <laughs> yeah, but Tasia, <laughs> I mean, look at this reinforcement wave. And I, I would love to say, um, you know, Tasia's just been mackering so well and he's wow. doing great, but it's just the fact that he's been so far ahead this game because of the opening. A and really, that's where Tasia was able to get the large advantage. He's going to group up all together and uh, attack as a single punch. I'm sure his main priority is going to be the third base, but he has a lot of different tactical maneuvers that he can do. He can obviously drop over here and then pressure uh, at the third or even this location. He probably wants to go from uh, up here on the top middle, but maybe he even has enough units to just bullet right in the center of everything and, and win from there. I, That's I don't right, know. Andre. I mean, Tasia can do anything, really, Froden. If there's anything you've, I've learned from paintball, man, is walking down the center is a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so awesome. Uh, uh, especially if you're on Team NASL, man. That's right. Especially if you're on Team uh, Minorities. That was a that was the team that we were playing on, right, Andre? A lot yes. of banelings were canceled for Chef as well. He doesn't have the time, really, nor any ability to lock down his opponent. The infestors are nowhere near uh, being able to come out. Chef has to do this with Bling Bane alone, and uh, I, I again, Chef is in just such a tough position. The tanks are very well protected, hugging the side of the ramp, even stimming some marines to work on the drone to pressure Shaft into an awkward position. Tries to even get de uh, explosions onto the banelings uh, on the ramp as well. Tasia able to push in, only using a couple of units, being oh, very no. patient, and even taking out creep tumors, and setting up strong perimeters. There's 2-2 two -two now, Frodan. This is the sickest 2-2 two -two timing. He's maxed he's at 200. Maxed at two -two. That shows you how powerful his economy is, and he's going to clean this up. No problem. That's it. Chef loses all of his units. GG. And there you have it. Tasia takes a 2-0 win over his teammate. Tasia now is 2-0 uh, and oh in the North American Star League. But, uh, I mean, that, th those, that kind of prediction was really easy to make. Tasia's playing phenomenally. Uh, just one of the hottest Terrans currently uh, in StarCraft too. I, I just want to commend Sheth, though, because uh, in game number one, again, he, he, has a, he had a good game plan, but, like, those kinds of things is just really hard because you did everything you could, and then game number two is like, well, you know, again, mind games. It was all calculated. Tasia is looking unstoppable, as always. And that's all I have to say. Andre, do you, yeah. you want to make any last comment? Nope. Uh, really well played. I think game one really showed his skill, and game two showed how he can close. He can yeah. close on He's anything. He's a closer. He's a Tasia closer. starts and closes if you've ever watched any team league.